was the gathering of Hollywood and Hollywood stars. At a press conference recently held in Lagos on the making of the movie on Ebola titled 93 Days. The movie is based on the true life stories of men and women who were on the front line of the battle against the highly dreaded Ebola virus disease. Renowned veteran Hollywood actors and producers Danny Glover and Tim Ray are built to star in the movie amongst other top Nollywood actors. The movie will be shot in various locations in Lagos, such as First Consultant Medical Center Obalende, Medical Isolation Center Yaba, amongst others. Speaking to the press, Mr. Pemon Rami said it's a very important Nigerian story which must be told as its impact is of global dimension. Uh, the story was so vital and important to tell, especially how it could have impacted the rest of the world. So it's a Nigerian story in its basis of where it started, but it's a world story in its sense of impact and possibility. So I'm just pleased to be here working on this project and part of the effort to take it forth to the rest of the world. Also speaking at the press briefing, Mr. Dotun Olakunri, one of the producers, said it's a Nigerian story which must be told in a Nigerian way to the rest of the world. It's a very important Nigerian story to tell. But it's important that we tell it to the world our own way. And that is why the world is so important. The story we would, would have been telling if it wasn't for these heroes that we're, we're showing, um, we're, we're, we're portraying in this film, would have been a terrible story. Mrs. Bolanle Austin Peters revealed how emotional she felt after reading the script. I took the script home. Um, an early riser woke up one morning, picked up the script, and couldn't drop it. I wept, I sighed, I was very happy at the end of it, and at the same time, very sad at the loss of some people. And um, I became addicted. And thereafter, the next day I called and said, I'm on board. Um, it's important that we tell our stories because what we tend to do in Nigeria is we kind of project the negative images more than the stories. Director of the movie, Steve Gukas, said the film would reflect the sense of pride that Nigerians need to feel considering our cooperation and the unity we displayed in combating Ebola. In terms of scope, when we started out on the project, our idea was to make a film that could go and travel well internationally. And a film that would also reflect the, the sense of pride that we all as Nigerians need to feel from what has happened you know, with this. The, the doomsday scenario that could have been what we're talking about has been avoided, and avoided by the actions of heroes and heroines that, you know, are being reflected in the movie. Famous Hollywood actor Danny Glover said he belonged to the generations of African-American actors who knows that it is their responsibility as African descendants to connect with their motherland. I'm going to speak for myself and perhaps a little bit for Tim as well because we come from a generation where we felt it was our responsibility as artists, our responsibility as African descendants to connect with the motherland. Nollywood actress Bimbo Akitola, who is billed to play the role of late Dr. Stella Ameyo Adadevo, explained how tasking it is in interpreting the role. It is extremely tasking. I'm playing the part of Dr. Ameyo Adadevo. And uh, God rest her soul, God rest her soul, because she lost her life during the Ebola epidemic. Um, 
you know, I've, I've talked to people who knew her. I've talked to her son. I've talked to the doctors. I've talked to so many people. And the one thing that's clear when people talk about her is the fact that they use, they use certain words. Everybody says the same thing. Courage, principles, uh, amazing, warmth, mother. So um, we've lost... I have especially a family, I do not know how they are coping with the loss of such a great soul. But she died for us. I, I have to say it, I keep saying this. And reading the script brought it more you know, clearly to me. Everyone that died during that period from first consultant died for us. They died to keep us safe. And we must honor them. We must. Co-sponsors of the movie project United Bank for Africa, Africa's global bank, sent to representative in the person of Mr. Charles Aigbe, the divisional head, group marketing and corporate relations, and he spoke on the reasons why the bank decided to sponsor the project. We sponsored this for a number of reasons. Um, we have operations in Nigeria and 18 other African countries. We have operations in three of the worst hit countries that suffered for Ebola in Africa. Now in those countries we have we had our staff who were still attending to customers. We didn't close shop. So when Ebola came to Nigeria, the index case was at first consultant hospital in Obalindi. Was is next door to our business office in Obalindi. So you can see that we had we were line of direct impact to Ebola. Now we also gave $1 million to support Ebola relief measures in these three countries that were worse hit, and also you know, in Nigeria. So we, on, on, on account of that, you know, saw this as an opportunity to tell the success story about how Nigeria combated Ebola. Ebola found its way into Nigeria where the infected Liberian American Patrick Sawyer came in here in search for cure. He later landed at the first consultant medical center of Balende where he was diagnosed and found to be Ebola positive. Late Dr. Stella Ameyo Adadevo who attended to Sawyer was credited for restraining him while trying to escape hospital custody, thereby infecting her with the virus which later took her life. Nigeria was declared Ebola free by the World Health Organization on October 20, 2014. Amo Badari Oluwamusho reported for Ben TV Lagos.